All right, welcome back. It's time for us to have a conversation this morning about heritage. Now, today we're going to be talking about the heritage of northern dancers. Now, we're going to go get into the conversation, uh, how many different types of dancers, uh, what do the dancers mean? I mean, I, I lived in the north a little while back, and I noticed that the energy levels in these dances are quite vibrant and um, seem to be a notch above some of the other dances across the country. What's the meaning behind all of this? Let's have a conversation this morning. Uh, my guest is Sadiq Shahadu. He joined us yesterday on the conversation here, and um, he is the regional ambassador for uh, indigenous communities at Art and Feminism. And we're going to be talking about some of the traditional northern dances. Good morning, Sadiq. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you, too? I'm very well. It's nice. good to have you back. Yeah, good so, to be here. So, uh, let's just talk broadly about the dances before we zone in on specifics. Okay. Generally speaking, why are the dances, or let me just say, okay, so first of all, how many different kinds of dances are we sort of looking at in the northern uh, parts of Ghana? Okay. Um, so just like we have for the languages, mm -hmm. we have so many dances in the northern Ghana okay. as we have the other parts of the country, like the upper east and upper west and northeast, Oti Savannah now. Okay. Um, so for music, I'll have to narrow it to a certain group of people, which is like the Moli Dagbani. Of okay. So um, for the Moli Dagbani, we have um, the Jara dance, we have the Damba dance, we have the... Um, Bamaya dance, we have the Tora, okay. we have um, Jera, mm -hmm. we have Nabiao, okay. a whole lot of them. I heard of the Zuya. Is there, is there a dance called Zuya? <laughs> no, I don't know. From Tamale? Yes. Uh, maybe the pronunciation. Okay. Zoa. 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 Okay. So Zoa. Okay. Uh -huh. Zoa is uh, a type of dance mm. performed by women, okay. a group of women, like when they are those days, we had no um, tiles, we'd ha we had no cement mm. to like, yeah, cement our floors okay. and even our buildings. Mm. Those days, even um, it was very difficult to have like those form, uh, like this modern type of cement that we yeah. have. So they used to um, mix like sand and some um, other plants. Okay. They would soak them in water okay. and then mix it with it. So these women would gather together mm. with uh, some sticks that they design in a very comfortable way that okay. they will be able to use it to hit the ground. Okay. So for Zoa, all these women will come together, go uh, like mostly strong women. Mm. Then they will be hitting it on the floor. Okay. And whilst they are doing that, they will be singing and dancing. Yeah. Like it's very fantastic. Okay. So I have a little story to share. And before we take a look at that dance. Mm. Now, um, a few years ago, I was, I used, I was doing a project, mm. a documentary, uh, for the Ghana Social Opportunities Project up mm. in, the, in the northern parts of Ghana. And I noticed that they were... So the project basically was about um, road building and, um, you know, other projects, dam building, road building, and so on. But it was using community labor, yeah. right? Now, I noticed that there were a whole uh, section of women, maybe sometimes th up to 30, 40 women, yeah. and there will be singing and dancing, yes. but if, you're, if you come closer, you notice that what you're actually doing is they are compacting the surface. Exactly. So this is what you're talking that about. That is exactly what I'm okay. talking about. Yeah. Okay, all <laughs> so, right. So they used to do it in mm. those days, we have compound houses. Mm. Like one house can have like more than 20 rooms. Okay. So they, for them to do that, they need to gather even uh, extended family mm. all come together to do that. Okay. So it makes So it, the dance was created Actually, as a function, fun a, a functional purpose, exactly to motivate the whole community. Yes, for compacting the uh, surface of where they live. Yes. Wow. So that is like a morale. Mm. You get morale from that. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the Zoha dance.
I must admit that I'm not sure there's any time I've seen any dance that is more functional than this one. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, because it's like we we don't want the the, the the top soil to be running off every time there's rain or water or whatever. Yeah. But the only way to do it is to compact. Now, if you don't have compacting machines and all of that, <laughs> this is just a very simple, very innovative yes, and yes. easy way to yes. get it done. Yes. You know? And very as impressive. they were playing, you see some people like making some sound. Yes. It's like when you are doing something and you feel like you are energized, yeah. you are doing this in yeah. unity, that they do it randomly. Yeah. So people like when you get ex too excited, mm. you begin to make those sounds. Yeah, wow. they do that even during dances when yeah. the chief is dancing and mm. people are feeling the dance. Yeah. You see ladies or women and they, making it, those a call and response. Call and response. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. And we, we, from, we people from the north, we have this uh, communal type of anything we do, we normally do it in groups. Mm. Uh, we even um, cleaning um, the environment, we gather to mm. do all these things. They always come together to do mm. it. Mm. And when they finish, they eat together. Okay. Uh, Okay. So that's the Zoa dance. The Zoa. Zoa dance. <laughs> Zoa. Zoa. All right. Fantastic. Now, um, so outside of the, is it the Mole Dambali group? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do any other groups also do this dance? In, yes. In I've seen people from the Upper East okay. do something do similar well. like this. Mm. Um, the Sisala and okay. the Wala. I've mm. seen them. As I said, we have so many similarities in these kind of things. Yeah. Because we live closer <clears throat> to each other, we mm. adapt and practice okay. other people's like okay. what other people do okay yeah All there's right. a particular dance um that uh, I, I i think from the upper west sisala people do a dance okay. the history behind that dance too i don't know if we have that video mm. um you see women dancing like they are chesting a ball like okay very energetic what brought that one about so um what i heard from it i went there last month and the explanation was that those days when like women cooked and they eat after eating mm. when they feel like they are heavy mm. <laughs> to, to be able yeah. to sleep well mm. they need to do something a an activity that will make them like digest, digest the food so fast okay so they organize this kind of dances wow. outside the compound and okay. all the women will come together okay then they'll be dancing like that okay uh, by the time they wow. finish they will look they will they feel will normal feel and they'll be able to sleep very well yeah. wow and That's there's the, there's another dance to the, I why think do we, why don't we take a look at the Sisala dance? Yes, let's look at that yes. one. I think I was even dancing in that video. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at that. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> yeah, you see, uh, that was my first time, so yeah. I, I think I did no, I well. I think you did very well. Yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 it fascinates me when I think about, you know, the level of energy mm -hmm. that they seem to, at least we've seen two dances so yeah. far. It's a lot of energy required yeah. to get into these dances. But this is very interesting how that you think about the fact that you've eaten, food is heavy, yeah, but it means also sleep will be uncomfortable. Yeah. So, you know, you come up with this dance to sort of allow the food to go down well, mm -hmm. start digesting quickly, yeah. and then you can go to sleep afterwards. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, another dance that we... Yeah, we, so we have the Bamaya dance, which I know Bamaya. most of you have seen. Okay. Uh, uh, the Ghana Dance Ensemble performed sev uh, on several occasions, okay. especially national occasions. Bamaya. Bamaya dance. Okay. So the Bamaya, the history behind Bamaya dance, um, those days um, there was famine. Mm. They, they had no rain for a very long time. People were struggling to get rain and like animals were dying. People were struggling, suffering. And they decided that they should go and do some um, 
consult the oracles, mm. perform some rituals, mm. so the gods will have mercy on them if they have committed a sin or something. So they gathered, they, they, they asked all the women and the children to um, gather foodstuff and fowls, like different kinds of okay. fowls, different colors. You know, okay. we have, they use it different, the cock mm. has different colors. colors. We have the white mm. one, the yeah. red, and then the black one. Mm. So they gathered all of them and they went to the, um, where the gods are. To, but they realized that there are some gods in the northern region or the history of Dagbon that if you are a lady and you are menstruating, mm. you cannot go closer to okay. that um, god. So what they did was they took the dresses of the women. Mm. So when you look at the Bamaya dance, usually they dance like women. They, oh. they are men, but they wear women dresses. Okay. And the, the reason is that they wanted to, I don't know whether it, they, they were trying to deceive the girls or what. Oh, okay. Even though they wanted is that to. What, is that what you're seeing yes, there? Yes. Okay. So this one, yes. Ah. The, the one on the, um, the legs, we call it chala. Okay. The legs, it has some sounds, like metallic. Okay. Thing they got. Okay. This one, I think they are not even wearing dresses. They are ones that you see them wearing like normal. Huh, I think there's somebody like behind like, them yeah. wearing female like dresses. A, a regular woman's uh -huh. dress. Okay. So they did this dance to deceive the, to make mm. the girls feel like the women, women are the ones who They will say, ah, look at the, how the women are dancing. Dancing. Okay. Uh -huh. Then they will have mercy on them. Mm. The one on their uh, waist yeah. has. Um, we call it yepsa. Okay. So when they are dancing, they, sh they it shake makes it. makes noise. Yes. Okay. But before this particular um, uh, dresses, mm. there were different types of dresses they used to perform this dance. And even the dance was not, it was to Bangpale before okay. it turned to um, Bamaya. Okay. So the reason why they changed it to Bamaya was when they went there mm. and they were dancing, mm. they are sweat, like they were sweating. Okay. As the sweat were dropping on the floor, they the rain started falling. Oh, so wow. they had a very heavy rain that day. Okay. And on their way back, they were excited. They were jubilating and doing this kind of dance. That time, it was not Bamaya. Mm. It was called uh, Tubang Pele. So they were doing Tubang that the Pele. Tubang Pele dance. Okay. <laughs> and then when they got to a stream, we call it Ba. Mm. Ba is like a, a small stream where people go to fetch water. Yeah. So when they got there, they saw that the whole place was now cold with plenty of water. Mm. And they were like, somebody smiled and said, uh, like, Bamaya. Bamaya. Like, okay. our stream is now cool. Okay. So then they wow. just changed the name to Bamaya and they changed the regalia. The now this, oh, they used okay. to use um, um, maize, the leaves. That's what they used to dance. Okay. But after was they just maintained the female dresses mm. and then they continue like Interesting. that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Let's talk about an another dance. So okay. we have the there's one, um, the Nabiao, the Nakwahwa, and then um, Gonji as well. So the Nabiao, you see um, a lady dance. I don't know if you have the video. There's a lady dancing different types of dance. Mm. For Nabiao, it's like um, a, a, how do I even put it? A, 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 a bull. That is not like a wild bull. Okay. They're, they're very dangerous bull. Mm. So when they are dancing, you see them dancing like a bull that is like struggling to kill people. So there was a bull at a dam killing people. Okay. And how they were able to, uh, somebody managed to conquer that bull, mm. how he danced with the bull and all those things. That's where they oh, got the dance okay. from. So Nabiao. Nabiao. Nabiao, like a, um, a bad mm. bull. Mm. Huh. Oh, I see. So, and then we have the... Um, is it Gonji? The Gonji, yeah, the Gonji, they use... The, 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 that device, we call it... Uh, the instrument is called Gonji. Gonji. And the dance to is Gonjiwa. Okay. Uh -huh. We also have the... Let's take, a look, let's take a look at that one. Let's look at the Gonjiwa. Mm. Let's take a look at Gonjiwa. Yeah, so this is the Gonjiwa. Very calm. That's the Gonjiwa. They have um, different types of instruments they mm. use for that. Okay. Um, yeah, this one, ma both male and female can dance. Okay, there's no sound. Mm. Mm.
All right, so there you have it. Um, let's, what, what, which other dances do we so have? So we have the Nakwahua. Okay. And uh, there's one particular video that has two, uh, a woman dancing different kinds of dance. Okay. So the Nakwahua and the Nadia and the Dambawa okay. combined together. Mm. They just change when the drum makes decide to switch. So you'll be able to tell which one they are now playing. Then you oh. dance along. So okay. the Nakwahua too has a, a history of... Uh, um, 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 is that yes, what we are looking this one, at there? This is the na um, different types of nakwa'wa mm. um, dances. We have the nakwa'wa. So she's doing it very quick, switching them quickly. Mm. Nabia is part, Damba is part, nakwa'wa is part. Yes. So okay. This is a, li a, a woman dancing. Mm. Okay. Okay. can also do it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong with dressing <laughs> like a, a man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then for um, our history, all these things were preserved mm. through oral uh, history. So we have the, the, the Lunsi. The Lunsis are the drummers. Mm. And we have um, what we call Dang, dang uh, Kali. Mm. It's like um, cultures that are specific to certain clans or families. Okay. So we have people who have um, this clan of like Lunsi drummers, okay. clan of blacksmith, clan oh, of like hunters, I see. <laughs> butchers. Okay. So okay. when you belong to this clan, yes, this is what you people do. This is what you'll be doing. Oh, okay. You'll be doing okay. it okay. either for commercial or mm. for fun, wherever they need you, you, you do it you in the kingdom. You are the ones who you come and do there. that. Yeah. Wow. And okay. all these things were preserved through oral history. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they, they, they are able to tell all this history mm. by just uh, the drumming and all wow. these things. Wow. It's, it's beautiful and very colorful. And like I said, I mean, there's a lot of energy involved in these dances. Yeah. yeah. There's this interesting story. Um, during the time of um, one um, chief, Na, na, Zang, uh, na Zangina, um, Na Andani, okay. Yana Andani II. Mm. That time, um, there was a battle, uh, the Battle of Adibo. I don't know if you've heard about it. Mm. That was the only battle like the, the Dagomes has ever lost. Okay. It's a very interesting story, mm. but it's, we don't feel happy about it, but okay. it happened. And there's one particular song, um, drum that uh, the Lunsi play normally when they are doing like uh, either um, Damba or maybe some traditional dances. Yeah. So uh, they trans in English, one of them will be playing the drum saying that uh, we, we have never lost a battle. Mm. What, then the other person will respond, how about the, uh, the day of Adibo? Oh, <laughs> and I the see. third person will respond, it was only that one we've mm. ever lost. Okay. And one, the fourth <laughs> person will say, uh, my father was the bravest. Ah, so, okay, yeah. I see. It's there's no doubt, there's, there's a, so say it again, how does it we go? We have never lost We've a never battle never in our lives. And they say, what about the Adibo? And one of, him, one of them, the yeah. same people, mm. he, he will remind you, how about the Adibo, Adibo. Dalla, or the day of Adibo? Yeah. This and happened in 1896, okay. when we fought the Germans. Okay. That's the only battle and we lost. That's the only one we ever We've lost. ever lost. And said, my father was the bravest. And the <laughs> fourth person will say, my father was the bravest on that day. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, um... Uh, what about the, the warrior dance? Is that the warrior dance? The warrior dance, the lady was doing it. That was inside. what the lady was yes. doing. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So it shows how um, they, like, when they are displaying their bravery during wars or so maybe. So is this another of, one of the warrior dance? So this is, yes, this is the warrior dance. Okay. This one we call it um, Kambongwa. Mm. Kambongwa. Kambongwa. Yes. Okay. This one is like um, you are a king. Mm. You, you have someone like a commander in chief. Okay. In the Dagban kingdom, we have the Kambona. Mm. So when he's going to war, he gathers these people. And there's, he being a leader, they have a different way they communicate to the, like when we are coming to fight with another uh, tribe or community. Mm. Before they get there, there's a, speci a specific drumming they do okay. to tell the people that we are coming in peace. We are mm. not coming to dance, okay. uh, to fight. To walk, to and walk, when they yeah. are coming to fight, they will tell them that 
the, through the drum and they will tell them that we this are coming to war. fight. So all women or mm. children should go away and okay. leave you people if you think we are brave. Yeah. So these were some of the dances they do okay. when they are getting closer to okay. them. Yeah. I see. So this is the Kamama. The, there's energy. Yeah. Like, you know. There's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And this one, you don't use the smoke, what I'm wearing to dance this. Mm. You, don't, you wear... Sometimes they wear cloth. Okay. They, they tie cloth okay. just across their body okay. and then they'll be able to So like this one, off. he's just wearing a, a plain singlet. Yes, he's yeah. just wearing a plain singlet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I think the last one we haven't seen is a damba. Yes. Yeah. So the damba, I think the lady was doing it. The, the damba is one of the, the like, it's very calm. Okay. So I think this is... So good. this one um, is Nani Go dance. I think if the sound is clearer, we'll be able to hear the voice of the drums. It's nanny go dance. Nanny go dance is like if you have a brother, maybe you have somebody that is very close to you, mm. a very close relative, and maybe in one way or the other, the person um, has disappointed you. Mm. So they, they have a particular move when they are playing the nanny go dance. They move like you are hopping or you are tiptoeing. Yeah. To, just to be sure careful that um, th there can be something that can chip ah, you from okay. you know, so, so there's like a tre tread cautiously yes you are trekking okay. cautiously okay so th that's a non go type of dance yeah so this one is damba basically mm. when during damba we dance uh -huh. like this okay yeah this i know yes yeah <laughs> i can do this <laughs> yeah yeah uh, today i didn't wear my smoke and yeah I, if and you I'm had one with the damba. My, the damba yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so many dances. So many, so dances. many dances. Yeah, a lot. We have the Jara, which yeah. we have not seen. It has its own dresses. Mm. And this particular dance is not, <laughs> you can even witness it like once in a lifetime. Okay. Uh -huh. I see. It's very, like, you know, very special dance mm. that they do. They tie something on their, uh, in front of them and mostly da done by men. Mm. And they have a different way. I think we don't have a video, but it's a very nice yeah. dance. Yeah. All right, fantastic. I, I, I think that um, we, we have really gotten a, a good, um, you know, look at all the different kinds of dances mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. Um, but we have, a, we have a gentleman here yeah. who is going to do a demonstration for us. Yeah. Um, and so I think we want, we want to hear what, what is he going to do for us. So he's going to play um, daule. What he's holding, daule. we call it daule. Okay. And the tool that he's holding on the right hand mm. is um, the this for sheep. Okay, so it's a the sheep horn. horn. Sheep, sheep horn. horn. Okay. So the, this one is metal. Okay. So we use it to play. So okay. Dowley, he will be able to play with it. Okay. Fantastic. And this we call it kalimbo. Kalimbo. A local flute. Okay. The kalimbo, uh, he will use it to make some mm. different kinds of sound. Okay. And, and yeah. All right. So we should go ahead and, and let's see what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see what it sounds like. Sign. Sammy, I daddy, well, I will, I daddy, sign. 
Wala wala dade say. Wala wala dade. Sami a dade. Wala wala dade. Oh yeah dade. Wala wala dade. Sami a dade. Wala wala dade. Mbada ma dade. Wala wala 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 dade. Sami a dade. Wala wala dade. Eh dade. Wala wala dade. Wow. Wow. So this one, what was this called? So if this one, he said so many things. Yeah. Like when you go to a war and you conquer the battle. Yeah. Like we are now okay. okay. Now let's rejoice. Okay. okay. Now we are calm. We Can have we won. Say, let's rejoice. So, so what language is this? This is Dagbani this language. Is Dagbani. This is Dagbani, Dagbani language. Okay. And the Nanumbes, Mampusi, yeah. they do they the same thing because this. they are from... They are very close to each okay. other. Yeah. Okay. And then and we also the use this one to make announcements. Okay. The Daule. Let's hear what it. Let's hear what that so is. So if like. you want to announce, bring community together, mm. you can use it to make some sound. Okay. Then people will come. Okay. Together at the community center mm. for communal labor and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. So TM Pilbamaya. So this one is the flute. Now he's mm. going to play. Yes. For us. Let's go ahead. So TM Pilbamaya. Benyila gila kakalungkana kakalamboje. Hmm. During the Bamaya dance, this person is there, and then the long that hmm. I mentioned will be there. So the bangma bangma yelani. No man no one so long be ya. Tangpa la la so liye. Manjiri do ye man yel mbe ni yel tangpa la so no man ko no so long be ya. Bamaya yel ya ha no man ko no so long be ya man ko no so na no so long be ya. Alizi ya zomla yonyo mti de yel tima tangpa le zoli nyago kunyasane mba pala lunga ha mba pala lunga ha yado pala lunga ha pusol kambuan tupa umle dasol umma ha tupa umle ya moro ba yulishin kabang ba dunaya sanga guru ba yulishin kabang ba dunaya na yibang ba dunaya na yibang ba dunaya a yibang ba dunaya. Chel yule baru kuri ye yel mimbe ni yel Sorry very much for that beautiful performance <laughs> and we are once again reminded that we should embrace and love all the different cultures that we have in this country the north it does not get better when we talk about our cultural heritage yeah. than northern ghana and it's been a pleasure really enjoying this yes so sule more Imoro uh, has given us and he is a dance instructor as well as a choreographer mm -hmm. and uh, he's been giving us beautiful beautiful music and earlier on i was speaking also with sadiq Shahadu. Uh, just, you know, the whole experience is just fantastic. And I thank you. I know some of you have been watching us from Tamale and other parts of the north. Thank you very much also for watching and for helping us to appreciate these beautiful traditions of dancing that you have in the north of Ghana. Well, if you're just joining us, don't forget that you can get all this beautiful content from our YouTube page. That's CityTube. 
comment, like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe. Absolutely. And uh, don't forget also that we do have a lot of other content coming your way on City TV. Keep watching City TV mm -hmm. and the programming that we have for you all Especially day. at 1 p.m. Yes. The State of the Nation yes, address yes, from yes, the yes, President. Yes, yes. This will be your first uh, with the 8th Parliament. But we're going to Absolutely. step out of your way so you Let's, can enjoy more yes. Northern culture. My name yes. is Jiva Ege. And I'm David Krikusechi. Sasuli, please more go ahead. <laughs> Hi there, we hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV.